thinking and learning about business and never taking action on the business you want to create will not give you enough data as to what will be a successful business. Make a thousand bad songs, make a thousand bad videos, write a thousand bad books, make a thousand bad paintings. Just do it. Done is better than perfect. If you don't get it done, you won't see what you need to do to make it better. Back to an experiment that was done at a university. Essentially, a professor split his classroom in half. He told one half of the classroom and said, I want you guys to make one vase that's perfect by the end of the month. So you have 30 days to make a vase that's excellent. He told the other half of the class, I want you guys to make a vase every day for the next 30 days so you have 30 vases by the end of the month by the end of the month which group do you think had the better vase if you said the vase that was made perfectly you're not wrong they had a really nice vase at the end of 30 days because they were able to sit there and think about what does a perfect vase need but if you guess that the people who made a vase every day had the better vase you're correct because those people were able to iterate 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 and get better 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 and they had 30 chances at it by the end of the month they ended up with a much more efficient and better looking vase so when it comes down to iterations the concept of quantity over quality people don't understand that quantity is what will create quality you don't have enough data yet you don't know what is good you don't know about yourself yet you don't know about your sound you don't know about your videos you need to get more data on yourself to understand what you need to do to get better it's the same thing with business if you want to increase your business you have to just start thinking and learning about business and never taking action on the business you want to create will not give you enough data as to what will be a successful business what will give you the data to have a successful business is to start if you have an ebook you have a course you have a service-based business you have to go get in the field find out what the clients are looking for find out the pain points of the people that you're trying to work with you don't know what their problems are until you talk directly to them but you won't talk directly to them if you're too scared to start so you have to start you have to commence and you have to do it bad because it's not going to be great at first but the faster you are at being bad and the faster you are at trying and failing and trying and learning and trying and making it better, the faster you will iterate a product that will generate something completely different for your life, whether it's art, whether it's business, or whether it's even getting into the gym. You don't go into the gym on your first day and hope to bench 325. That's just not how this stuff works. It's almost like if you went to school, you have a bad relationship with the concept of failure because when you're used to fail in school, that's an F, that's a bad negative thing on your report card. You're worried about your parents. You're worried about getting in trouble. You're worried about looking stupid in front of your friends. Failure just doesn't seem to have any good positive value. In reality, failure is one of the best teachers that you can ask for because the more you fail, the faster you'll be able to learn how to get better and iterate something that you want that will be successful. I'm in San Diego right now, about to do an R&B only live show. And I've just been thinking about how important it is to just start. I've been wanting to launch this ebook for months now, Solo Level Up, helping creators get out of their own way through self-improvement. And in this ebook, I really did the research and I want to create as much value possible for people to read this book and understand the steps and the necessities and how to get out of your own way, how to self-improve and how to start creating the things you want to start creating without running into burnout and without running into paralysis analysis. But even myself, I've been letting my perfectionism get confused with just making sure I create something that will help people. And the more I think about just making something that will help people, the more okay I am with saying, hey, I don't need to spend three hours on the cover art of this. I need to focus on making sure that all the information that I want is in this. Whether it's pretty or not, doesn't matter as much as if it will help or not. And that's the same application you have to have into all of your things. You don't have to reinvent the wheel and you don't have to paint the Mona Lisa on your first try. What you need to do is paint enough so that way eventually the Mona Lisa comes through. You have to take enough shots so that way these shots become automatic for you. But if you're not getting the reps in, if you're not getting the iterations in, and if you're not taking the time to do, fail, do, learn, do, do good, do, learn, do, fail, all of that, 
if you're not taking the time to go do that, how do you expect yourself to have a sustainable life afterward? Because you're, ho you're basically gambling, hoping that the one out of 10 times you attempted something out of a year span, one of those things pops off for you. How can you do that? You haven't even gotten enough shots in yet. You haven't gotten enough reps in yet. You haven't done enough to think that you deserve more. You have to give abundantly in order to receive abundantly. Do not be scared of failure. Use the failure to teach you what needs to be done to win. Get the reps in. A hundred, a thousand, ten thousand. And from there, reiterate. Make a thousand more. Make ten thousand better ones. You don't know how good you can get until you start going. But don't assume that you have to be the best when you start walking. Start walking, then running. Running, then flying. Flying, then you out of here. You feel me? This is just one of those mindset videos for y'all to understand how important it is to get started. I'm out in San Diego right now about to get this show started. And I just want to tell y'all that, man. Get your reps in. You see how many videos I have on my YouTube. You see how y'all don't know how many failed projects that I've created in my life. Failed podcasts, failed attempts at managing artists, failed a lot. But it's taught me so much about where I want to be and where I need to go and what I need to do to get there. But it all came from allowing myself to go through the process of failure learning, failure continuing, failure learning, failure continuation. Eventually, you'll understand progress beats perfection. Hey. Dashe, the light skin man. We're here. Back to the theme of this video progress over perfection. Make a hundred iterations before you assume that you have to have perfection. You can't sit there and be mad that your video or your song or your mix or whatever the hell you're trying to make isn't perfect if you only did it one time and you didn't even complete it because it wasn't perfect. You have to do done is better than perfect. Get a hundred things done and then you'll learn how to perfect those hundred things by doing a hundred more.